All right, Joey, over to you. Yeah, glad you home. Right. Now to this, BBC International Editor Jeremy Bowen admits he made mistakes in his reporting on the Gaza hospital blast last month. But he says, quote, I don't regret one thing because I think I was measured throughout. I didn't race to judgment. Yeah, but his initial report said the explosion destroyed Al Ali Hospital. It was already damaged from a smaller attack at the weekend. The building was flattened. Fox News contributor and columnist for The Messenger, Joe Concha, joins us now. He said the building was flattened. We know that's not true. Uh, you know, this reporter, we don't know who he is really. I'm sure many people don't know who this BBC editor is, but I think it does mm -hmm. show a larger trend of reporters supporting, you know, the Palestinian side over Israel and then him so blatantly saying he doesn't regret what he said. What do you think about all of this? Uh, well, first, that, that was a very moving interview you, you did there, Carly, and I'm a little teared up, so <laughs> I'll try to work oh, yeah. through this. Uh, just reminds me so much of, of my own son, who will be turning nine this year. Mm -hmm. uh, let's be clear without any ambiguity, getting back to the topic at hand. This international editor for the BBC, Jeremy Bowen, should be fired. It's one thing to get something wrong and be contrite about making a mistake, and this was obviously a big one, because remember, of all the violent protests that resulted from reporting from the BBC, the New York Times, CNN, Washington, Washington Post all saying this strike was carried out by Israelis and that hundreds were dead at a hospital. And for Bowen to say that he has no regrets clearly shows that he is agenda driven. He is sympathetic to Hamas and he should not be in any senior position at any international news organization. Full stop. And, and it's this sort of reporting. It's one thing to get something wrong when we're talking about politics. But in this case, this is the type of stuff that could get people killed. And for him to say, hey, you know what? I don't don't care. I'm sorry. This person should not be working anywhere near any news organization, guys. And I know we're out of time, so uh, yeah. that'll be it's, that. it's just too much to ask for the truth, just simply the truth. Joe Concha, thanks for joining oh, us. Thank you so much.